The BIOS can be a very intimidating place to be in. And for some of you, you hit the lottery and you got to hold one of these new 5000 series CPUs. That's awesome. But some of your friends are telling you and what you're reading online is you have to have an old CPU to upgrade your BIOS so you can use your motherboard with your new CPU. But that's not entirely true. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how you can upgrade your motherboard's BIOS without actually needing to have a CPU installed in your motherboard to even update it. In the past, there was definitely a pain point where you needed to have one of the older generation CPUs in order to update the BIOS on the motherboard so you could upgrade the BIOS to use the new stuff, which was definitely a pain point in fairly annoying thing with motherboards. But with these newer motherboards, that's kind of changed. If you have a newer motherboard in the B550s, such as MSI or ASUS, they have something on their motherboards called a BIOS flashback. Basically what this BIOS flashback allows you to do is to take a USB drive with the updated BIOS on it and plug it into a specific port on the motherboard and then you're able to install this update onto your motherboard so it will now be compatible with your new hardware. Ergo your 5000 series CPUs or whichever ones it is you're trying to do it on. Now this is fairly simple to do, but you are going to need a USB thumb drive so you can go ahead and install these updates. And I would recommend that you pick up one that has at least eight to 16 gigabytes of storage on this. So now that you know what you need, we're gonna go ahead and get on the PC and show you how to get this thumb drive ready so you can successfully install your updates. Before that, this video is brought to you by Vitro. Vitro is a PC component company that offers quality products for an affordable price. Right now on Amazon, you can get one of their popular coolers for as low as $24 after you add the $10 coupon at checkout. The CPU cooler has a simple but stylish design and can be chosen in white or black. And it's compatible with Intel and AMD. With five heat pipes and a 48 fin design, this direct contact technology provides a fast heat transfer and maintains excellent operation of your CPU. Install is easy. For more information, check the links below. Now to reiterate, you are going to want a USB and you're going to need a computer to download that BIOS update to put it on. And when you do, you're going to want to make sure it's formatted correctly and you're going to want to make sure it's in FAT32. And I would definitely go ahead and make sure you do the full format. Don't try to do the quick format, do the full one, make sure it races everything, everything's good. The BIOS isn't something you want to play around with, guys. After you got that done and it's finished, you're going to want to Google your manufacturer's motherboard. And then you're going to want to go to their support page, find their downloadables, go to their BIOS and download it. You're going to extract that file. And once you've got it extracted, you should be able to open it up and you're going to want to go ahead and delete the text file. We don't need this. Now, depending what motherboard you're using, every different manufacturer has a specific file name that it needs to be. For this particular one, it needs to be the msi.rom that you saw me put it on. And we're gonna go ahead and copy that over to our USB. Once we've done that, you can right click it, eject it, and then you remove it. Once you have it removed, you should be able to easily install it into the specific port on your motherboard. It should be labeled, this shouldn't be hard to find. And then you go ahead and give power to your motherboard you don't actually have to have it plugged up into the PC and hooked all up to do this. As you can see, I'm gonna update it right outside of the case. I'm gonna do it right here. I'm just plugging in my power supply. You're gonna go ahead and hit that BIOS flashback button. You're gonna hold it for about five seconds and it should kick on. Should see some beeping that's going on. Should see some fans spinning on either your motherboard or your power supply. This should let you know everything is happening, everything's going on. It's in the middle of doing its update. You're gonna wanna let this go until this light shuts off. Now keep in mind, this process should be fairly similar for any of these motherboards that have this BIOS flashback capability, but they won't all have the same file extension name. 
So whichever motherboard you're doing this for, make sure that you look it up and have the right file extension because if you don't, your motherboard and the USB that you've installed will not be able to communicate and it won't be able to do the installation. So the file name is gonna be important, keep that in mind. Once this is all done, you should be able to go ahead and install your new CPU and well, off you go. If you got some sort of value out of this video, I ask you please consider giving the video a like. It really helps the channel out a lot and it definitely tells YouTube that I'm a decent YouTuber and they put my videos out there and I get the opportunity to help more people, which that's what we try to do here on this channel. Definitely try to help out as much as we can. That's gonna do it for the video. As always, if you do have any questions, concerns, confusions, whatever it may be, don't hesitate, ask. I'm really trying to build something for you guys here. Hope you want to be a part of it. A simple like, share, subscribe, comment. They go so far for the channel. It really helps me continue to make content and grow. With that said, I hope you can like. I hope you can subscribe. And if not, well, I hope to catch you in another one. And remember, it's a vibe. A tech vibe. Specifically. We'll see you.